going on, Cloud Krieger here. Thanks so much for tuning in today. So today I have a special guest from all the way from Australia. Hi, I'm Nathan McCallum. Nathan is is Nathan on Instagram and has a blog called Bang Rain Blog. And we're here doing a beach workout today where we're gonna show you like really simple ways to get a really great workout. Basic bar work, just using what's around us. And I thought it'd be really great to use Nathan to do this because his blog is really inspiring, living a really healthy lifestyle, having a really good fashion sense. I just thought it would be perfect to show you guys and introduce you guys so you guys can meet how wonderful Nathan is. We can all become friends. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So Nathan and I are about to have a race to see if we can get the top of this rope climb. And... Without using feet. <laughs> okay, yeah. The challenge. <laughs> Sorry to let you guys down. USA lost that one. <laughs> Eric asks, do you ever get seriously tired of working out and just spend a whole week eating chocolate and regretting it? Well, I spend a whole week eating chocolate and don't regret it. There's no regrets. <laughs> My sweet tooth is pretty happy. <laughs> like, yes, I work really hard on being really mindful about my diet and making sure that I put really great things in my body. And I also cheat all the time. All the time. Food is the only real vacation that you have in life. <laughs> so, I like to cheat. And I like to work out. I genuinely have fun in the gym. Like yes. that's, I go to the gym to challenge myself and have fun. And the reward is, hey, I can eat a tub of ice cream. Some ice cream <laughs> from time to time. <laughs> Okay, so Nathan's gonna teach me how to do a muscle up since I've never done one. And I'll show you how to do the progressions so at least you can start learning how to get the strength to do one. Alright, cool. First thing we're gonna do is a high pull up, bring your chest up to bar. Perfect. Next thing we're gonna do is hold that position for a second. So up, pause. Mm. I think Perfect. my left one, the I noise just... doesn't help that much, <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the noise is what gets me there. <laughs> Did you get that? If you get this, I'll be really impressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so close. <laughs> you feel like it looks so easy when you do it. Practice. Yeah. yeah <laughs> oh my god, I'm so, I'm so tired now. So the next question comes from Jake. Can you both take your shirts off and demonstrate your fave way to pose your body to make you look the biggest? I'm not taking my shirt off. I would never do that. I wouldn't be caught dead. We're trying to keep it classy here. <laughs> How do you two find the balance between building functional muscles versus building muscles for aesthetics? I only care about the outside, so... <laughs> it's what's outside which, that which is, counts. Which is what you can tell why when we're working out is why I'm struggling so much. I think it kind of goes hand in hand. I mean, you get the aesthetics by having the function. It's about feeling strong and confident in your body. Right. And then the aesthetics come with that. Now that I do the workout that I do, as most of you guys know, I do CrossFit a lot. The aesthetics come because I'm working so hard on the functions and making sure that my form is really good. Yeah, form is king. Now we're gonna do work on the parallel bars. Just basic stuff, basic everyday exercises that anyone can do. Nothing too fancy. So I'm 19, but I've always been skinny for my age and it's been pretty hard for me to gain mass from working out. I especially want to bulk up my butt and pecs. How can I get a bubble butt like you? It's your question, it's not mine. <laughs> I don't have a bubble butt. I think my butt probably comes from genetics and it probably comes from playing soccer my whole life. And I actually maintain my legs and glutes by doing lots of squats. Front squats, back squats, lots of lunges, weighted, and then adding weight. Like, and I go until I can't go anymore, right? Like, I go until failure. Now we're gonna show you the difference between a strict pull-up and a kipping pull-up. I can't do any kipping, I can only do strict, so I'll demonstrate that. So America takes the lead.
so we finished our workout and uh the winner is <laughs> it's pretty much pretty much for sure australia i'd say still my country proud <laughs> um so yeah now it's time to go get some food some really good Wholesome, healthy refueling food yeah protein all that good stuff <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today. It was so much fun, Nathan. Thank you so much for coming. Absolute pleasure. And Thanks for having showing me. us how to be great at working out. <laughs> make sure you check out Nathan's blog, the Bangarang blog. I'll put it down below in the details. And also make sure you check him out on Instagram. You probably already yeah, are. Yeah, come say hi. <laughs> yeah, his Instagram is is Nathan. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter too at Kyle Krieger Hair. And we'll see you next week. Bye guys. <laughs>